Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will talk about angle of elevation and angle of depression. So again, let us define first what is angle of elevation. So it denotes the angle from the horizontal line upward to an object. So later we will illustrate this angle of elevation and angle of depression. So what is the definition of angle of depression? It denotes the angle from the horizontal line downward to an object. So what is the line involves to angle of elevation and angle of depression? So that is the line of sight. So that is the imaginary line that connects the eye of an observer and the object being observed. So this is the clear picture or the illustration of the angle of elevation and the angle of depression. So again, angle of elevation, that is the angle formed from the horizontal line upward to an object. So meaning, the line of sight connecting the eyes of the observer and the object is above the horizontal line. So the angle form is between the horizontal line and the line of sight. So this one. For an angle of depression, this is an angle formed from horizontal line downward to an object. So meaning, if the object is below the horizontal line, the line of sight connecting the eyes of the observer and the object is below the horizontal line so meaning the angle of depression is formed between the horizontal line and the line of sight so this one please take note that the angle of elevation is equal to the angle of depression so they are congruent considering this figure or this illustration so there are two observers connecting their eyes so this one is the line of sight so this is the horizontal line of sight of the first observer and this one is the horizontal line of sight of the second observer. So again, this is the line of sight. So this one is angle of elevation since the line of sight is above the horizontal line. And this one is angle of depression since the line of sight is below the horizontal line. So, they are congruent. Let's say this is 30 degrees. The angle of elevation is equal to angle of depression, which is also 30 degrees. So, let us name the angle of elevation and angle of depression in the figure below. So, the angle of elevation is the angle formed between the horizontal line. So, the horizontal line is 80. And the line of sight above so the line of sight above is am so again the line of sight above horizontal line is am so the angle formed between line segment am and line 80 which is the horizontal line is the angle of elevation so this is the angle of elevation which is angle m a t so what is the angle of depression in this figure so again the angle of depression is the angle formed between the horizontal line and the line of sight below so the line of sight below is line ah or line segment ah so the angle form is between this horizontal line 80 and ah so this one so that is angle h a or TAH. So again, this is the line of sight below the horizontal line. And this is the angle formed between line segment AT and line segment AH, which is the angle of depression. So for item number two, find the value of X in this figure. So again, this one is 47 degrees. And this is equal to the value of X. Therefore, X is equal to 47 degrees So let us have example number one a kite in the air has its string tied to the ground If the length of the string is 50 meters find the height of the kite above the ground when the string is taut and the inclination to horizontal is 60 degrees So this is the illustration of the problem the kite is above the ground and the string is 50 meters then the angle 
inclination to horizontal is 60 degrees. So the question is, what is the height of the kite above the ground? If you analyze the figure, the figure form is right triangle. So for the right triangle, if you encounter this kind of problem, you will use the trigonometric function. So the mnemonic for trigonometric functions are So, katoa, and koshakao. Since we have six trigonometric functions, the sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent, the question is, which of these six trigonometric functions will we use? So, we will consider the given. So, the given is the angle of the elevation. The opposite side to this angle, so we have opposite side. And the other one is the length of the string, which is the longest side. And the longest side of the right triangle is called the hypotenuse. Again, the given is opposite, hypotenuse and the angle. So, in this mnemonic, we have opposite and hypotenuse. So, O and H. So, that is so, which is sine function. So, again, sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So let us substitute the values of the formula. So theta means the angle. So that is sine 60 degrees equals to opposite is height, the missing one, all over 50, which is the hypotenuse meters. So we are going to find the value of height. So let us cross multiply. This is over 1. So cross multiply. H times 1 is H. That is equal to 50 meters times sine 60 degrees. So let us find sine 60 or calculate sine 60. Use your calculator. You can use any scientific calculator as long as you have sine, cosine, tangent. So the value of sine 60, so press sine, then 60. So that is equal to 0 0.866, so approximately 0 0.866. So sine 60 is equal to 0 0.866. Then multiply it to 50 meters. So now 50 times 0 0.866. That is equal to 43.3 meters. So the height of the kite above the ground is approximately 43.3 meters. You can find the height directly using calculator or scientific calculator. Just type 50, then press sign or times sign 60. So that is equal to 43.3. So the height is 43.3. Okay, let us have problem number 2. The angle of depression of a car seen by an observer on top of 8 meter tower is 40 degrees. How far is car from the tower? So this is the illustration, the angle of elevation uh, of a curve seen from a tower is 40 degrees. And the height of the tower is 8 meters. So the question, how far is the car from the tower? So this is the distance. What is the distance from a tower to the car? So again, this angle is equal to this angle. 
So the angle of depression is equal to angle of elevation this time. So now, we can identify what trigonometric function are we going to use. So this is the opposite of this angle. So this is 40 degrees, take note. 40 degrees also. So the opposite of this angle is 8 meters. And the missing one is adjacent. So now, analyzing the given, we can say that we will use the word towa, which is tangent. The opposite, so tangent theta, theta means angle, is equal to opposite over adjacent. So now, theta is the angle. So the angle is 40 degrees. So tan, tangent 40 degrees is equal to, opposite is 8 meters all over D or the distance. So we're looking for distance. So now, cross multiply. This is over 1. D times tan 40. So that is D tangent 40 is equal to 8 meters. Then, the only value that we are going to solve is D. So, divide both sides by tangent 40. And then, what is the value of tangent 40? So, again, you can use any scientific calculator as long as you have sine, cosine, and tangent. So, we are finding the value of tangent 40. So, press tangent, then type 40. So, that is equal to 0 0.39099631. So, round off to the nearest 10 thousands. So, that is equal to 0 0.8391. Tangent 40 is 0 0.8391 and then divide it, that is equal to 9.53 meters. So the distance of a car from a tower is approximately 9.53 meters. Using calculator, you can find the distance of the car from the tower. So press 8, then divide tangent 40. So that is equal to 9.53. So approximately, the distance is 9.53.